and call me Nurse Abigail. Mm, sir, Nurse Abigail is very busy, sir. But I will help her do whatever I want her to do for you, sir. How do you know that Nurse Abigail is busy? Go and call her for me! Yes, sir. I already gave her an instruction. Please, do you know if Nurse Abigail has resumed for the day? I never said to do. Hey, this lady is going to put me in trouble, eh? I already told the doctor she has resumed for the day and he's asking after her. That one has serious trouble. You go better make you go tell her, say, eh, she never received me. I already told the doctor that I am not Abigail attended to a patient this morning. And if you tell her, say, no mistake, say, now you and the city attend to the patient together. Say, hey, sir. Hey, sir, I'm sorry I lied to you, sir. But the truth is that. No, Sir, they said you ask something. I'm not going to cover up for you again. I won't lose my job trying to keep yours. It was intentional. I tried all I could. But I couldn't even meet up with other agencies. They'll be expecting me by now. I was going to tell the doctor the truth when you came in. I'm tired of lying. I'm sorry, but you have to cover up for me one more time. No, I won't. So, how are you feeling right now? Better. But the nurse is yet to give me my paracetamol. That's not possible. She rushed in and fixed the drip hurriedly. I asked her of my pastor more. She said she forgot and she will bring it later. Am I talking to deaf and dumb people? Mm, sir, you know, say, me, I'll be cleaner. Now, nurse, no, where nurse did they? Where is nurse Abigail? You have five seconds to answer this question, or the three of you will be in deep trouble. Ah, my boy. Hey, I go talk. Hey, Nasabi, see go do more I'm sorry, sir. I was just distracted. I just wanted. I never thought you'd like the idea of me pursuing my dreams at the expense of your business. Guess what? You are right. I don't like it one bit. So, in order to free you, to allow you the freedom of pursuing your newfound dream. I have decided to suck you. Sir! <laughs> Please, sir. I'm really sorry, sir. It will never happen again. I was just dist distracted. Please, sir. Nurse Abigail! Please, sir. Your services are no longer needed in this hospital. Crime will not solve the issue at hand. Let's think of a possible solution. What possible solution? Uh... You guys should have listened to me. It's your fault. The both of you. Uh... I tell be our fault. Now she says it won't become more deadly. I wish we could plead on your behalf, but the doctor is very angry with us for lying to him and encouraging you not to do your job. Hey, Abi, make I go help you beg your doctor. You know, say, na na city and na city, doctor the first one. You know, first for me. What do you think, na city? I don't know what to think right now, but there's no harm in trying. Hey, I dey come. Now cry, you know, make I go help you beg doctor. Yeah, I dey come. Yes, Biliki. I, 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 I. Will you get out of my office? Yes. Alpha. Ah, not of face, not good at all. They are not here to wait there inside in mine. If they sell and give all their people, it will still remain. As I see a face like this, I can't forget what I want to. What have I gotten myself into now? Oh. <laughs> this one don't pass crying out. It will better make you go the fine job for another place. Say you hear me so. I beg, I won't go watch the best city where I live for backyard. I don't want my daughter to come and come out, come see me for a year. I don't want my daughter to sack me. I beg, I Who died? No one died. Mr. Vigia has just lost her job. <laughs> <laughs> eh? <laughs> of the Talkative and Loose Tongue Association of Nigeria has been fired. Eh? <laughs> Unbelievable. Eh? Almighty Nos Abigail is crying. Mr. Kafo, this is not a time to make jest of her. She's going through a lot at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. What happened? 
She's been portraying another career at the expense of her job as a nurse. The doctor got to know about it and fired her. Eh? Uh, what other career was she pursuing? Modeling. Modeling. Mo. <laughs> Ah, above your friend and Dr. Teresa, please let me laugh this laugh, I beg <laughs> Give me a little more time, I beg I need additional laugh, please. This is the only opportunity I have to laugh at no Abigail so that she will be quiet. Eh? <laughs> let me laugh, I beg, I beg. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> oh, Mr. Kafa, what you're doing is unfair. It's not funny. What she needs now right now is not what you're giving to her. See, we've been looking for how to get out of this trouble and we've not been able to come up with any solution. <laughs> okay, you know what? I would have loved to help. But considering the kind of person she is, I won't. Oh, Mr. Kafo, please, I beg you. For my sake, please. If there's anything you can do to help her, please do. She doesn't need my help. Otherwise, she will ask for it herself. <laughs> help me, please, Mr. Kafo. <laughs> So you can be this humble. Chai! <laughs> you see, eh? Oh, your tears have touched my heart. And I hereby forgive you of all your sins. Eh? <laughs> and nurses, let me quickly go see the doctor and then uh, I'll be right back. Right, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Kafo, the medical profession is a highly sensitive one and does not have room for people who cannot concentrate. Nurse Abigail wants to try her hands on new things and I think she should be allowed. I will let her tarnish the image of my hospital. Doctor, you see, um, we all know the kind of person she is. We all know that her busybody is too much. But I still think you have to forgive her and give her a second chance. I'm very sorry I cannot do that. I have decided on what to do. As far as I'm concerned, she remains fired. Hey, how did he go? Come, are you sure you didn't commit any offense? Apart from the one I was told. <laughs> no, I didn't. What other offense did the doctor say I committed? He didn't say, but he wouldn't accept my apology. I pleaded and pleaded, but he refused. Oh my god. I'm in real big trouble. Real big trouble. Big trouble. Hmm. But um, I have a suggestion to make. See, I suggest you go start a small pharmaceutical shop with your experience and start selling small, small drugs. But if you don't have money for the shop, you can start by the roadside. Oh, oh, what's, what's the meaning of that? You just shut up if you don't have anything good to say. Oh. So you can still insult even with your condition. Don't blame her now. You know she's going through a lot at the moment. Even when she's not going through anything at all, insulting people is her hobby. Why am I even pitying you in the first place? I am going. Uh -huh, but don't forget my candid advice. Go and start hawking drugs. <laughs> stupid, stupid man. <laughs> Mr. Kappa was unable to make the doctor change his mind. It's okay, my dear. I think you should just go home and start thinking on how to move on. I'm so sorry. It's
should be fine, okay? Water. Watch your fingers around her mouth. Yes. Huh? Let's pull it. I told you to watch your fingers around her mouth. More water, please. Should be fine. Clinic matters. Keep watching. Ah, uh, madam, relax. Your child will be fine, eh? Thank you. Please sit, okay? She will be okay. okay. Take your seat. Okay. Oh, thank God the baby is now relaxed. You shouldn't have put your hand into her mouth. She would have chopped off your fingers. I wasn't thinking, sir. I only wanted her to be safe. Okay, um, see me in my office. Yes, sir. I thought I fired you hours ago. So what have you been doing around the hospital premises? I was on my way out sir, when I saw a lady running with her child screaming for help. I just couldn't ignore her. I had to take her in. I see. So it shows you still have passion for your job here as a nurse? Yes sir. Sorry about your finger. Thank you sir. I'll give you a second chance and I hope that this time you take your job very seriously and don't give room for distractions. I promise sir. I'll put you on probation for a couple of months, okay? And if within this period I see you treat your job with levity, I'll sack you. And this time it will be for real. I promise to be very careful sir. Okay, um, you can go home, take care of your finger, okay? And um, I hope to see you at work tomorrow. Thank you, sir. I promise to be good and diligent. You are hot while trying to save my child. I'm so sorry about that. Thank you very much. You're welcome, madam. Thank you. And I must say thank you to you too. Your child helped secure my job. Now you've learned your lesson in Adwe and you now know that you can never be a model. Whatever. At least I know I'm more beautiful than you are. No, sir, did you hear her? Don't start. No, sir, Abigail, don't forget you're still on probation. got to know about it and fired her. She's been pushing her other career as... Ash. She's been pushing her other career at the expense of her job as a nurse. The doctor got to know about it. It's not good at all. They are not here to wait inside in mind. If they see her and give her an order, it will still remain. 
As I see your face like this, I can't forget what I want to do. This one don't cry, you don't. Sorry. Bo, this one don't pass crying in Motown. It go better make you go the fine job for another place. Say, you got me so. I bet. I won't go worse than the city. Let's start selling small, small jobs. But if you don't have money for the shop, eh, you can start by the new side. Oh, oh, you can steal it, so if you can. Hey, how did it go? Come, are you sure you didn't commit any other offense? Apart from. Go, Are you sure you didn't commit it? Leave me. <laughs> <laughs>